COVID-19 booster shots rolling out across the country. Many people are wondering, is this going to be part of our new normal? Will we need these booster shots every year? ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at booster shots and why that simple question is so hard to answer. Booster shots have been a part of medicine for decades. People get flu shots every year, tetanus boosters every 10, even vaccines for some diseases like hepatitis require two or three shots before they give you indefinite immunity. But when it comes to COVID-19, doctors and researchers simply don't know yet how many booster shots we're going to need or how often. We know that COVID-19 is around to stay for a while. Suzanne Shea, the vice president of pharmacy for Sharp Healthcare, says she hears questions about COVID boosters all the time, but it's too soon to have answers. There is definitely some sense based on the research that we're seeing now that it would become on some routine basis. We just don't know what that is yet. In August, CDC director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said she does not think yearly COVID boosters will be necessary, adding, quote, it does look like after this third dose, you get a really robust response. But the CEO of Pfizer, Albert Bourla, disagrees. He told the magazine Business Insider that, quote, the most likely scenario is we will be needing annual revaccination as we do with the flu vaccine. Shea says all doctors and scientists can do now is take an educated guess based on what we've learned about the vaccine and the virus so far. Very healthy people. It's the immunity could last much longer than somebody who is less healthy, so that's still yet to be determined. Meanwhile, researchers at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology are trying to find specific answers about boosters. In addition to an ongoing study about COVID immunity, they've started two new studies. One to look at how boosters increase immune responses for antibodies and T cells, and another to see if breakthrough infections offer a boost to immunity. We don't know. Dr. Alessandro Setti is leading some of the research. He says the answers are complicated because no one has identified a threshold for antibody or cell levels that equates to protection. He also says it depends on if we want immunity from infection or just from severe disease. It could be, but there is a level of immunity that is uh, uh, perfectly sufficient to prevent uh, the severe disease while may not be sufficient to prevent an infection. Because booster shots have only been around for a few weeks, Sethi says we'll need another six to eight months before we have any answers on durability. But studies on the initial rounds of vaccines offer clues and hope that continued boosters may not be necessary. From what we've seen, though, uh, the vaccination does induce uh, memory responses and memory responses can stick around for years. So uh, it, it, uh, I think there is reason to be moderately optimistic here. Age is another factor. Since COVID has a more severe impact on the elderly and immunocompromised, people in those categories may need continued boosters, while younger, healthy people won't. And since young kids are just starting to get their first shots, it could be more than a year before we know if they'll need a booster at all. How long does their immunity last as you go into adulthood versus somebody who's an adult today? So there's a lot more research that needs to be done. The length of the pandemic also plays into this. The longer it lasts, the more likely we are to see another variant that could require additional shots. And more cases means a higher level of transmission. So we'd all need a higher level of protection to fight against it. That's why the doctors I spoke with say the most important thing to focus on now is making sure everybody who should get their shot or their booster gets it now so we can get the pandemic under control and we can worry about additional doses in the future. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Well, right now, CDC says you should get a booster shot if you're over the age of 65, living in long-term care, have underlying health conditions, or work in a high-risk job. They also say anyone over 18 who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine should get a booster. And we have been dedicated to answer your vaccine questions since the beginning of this rollout. If you have a question for our in-depth team, you can send us an email to tips at 10news.com.